Well, Kenton football finds itself back in a familiar position. For the third time in the last four seasons, the Wildcats will play in a regional title game. This year, Kenton earned the honor with defense, shutting down an explosive triway offense last week to win 13-6. The Wildcats forced five first-half turnovers, but also committed five of their own. Head coach Brent Fackler was impressed with the way his team overcame those mistakes and gutted out a victory. You know, we were in a position where we could have uh, easily, you know, just said, oh, man, things aren't working, things are going against us tonight. But we never flinched, and our defense, you know, pulled us out of a lot of jams. Uh, that gives us a lot of confidence. I mean, it shows that we can, we can rely on our defense, but as, as a quick offense, we don't want to, but we know we can fall back on that. Really showed our defense, like showed ourselves that we are, we are pretty good. I don't want to sound too confident, but um, that really helped boost our confidence because everybody doubted us coming into that game and proving that we could stop an offense as powerful as Triway really proved something. Winners of 10 straight, Kenton is grateful for another opportunity to play into late November. Their experience in these games gives them an advantage. Kind of used to the cold weather. You're used to playing these seasons. Like uh, I know for our class, they're seniors this year. We've actually played a whole extra season because of the postseason games. And I feel like it definitely helps uh, conditioning and doesn't you don't wear down as fast. Oh yeah, there's no doubt that uh, experience being here, you know, last year a little bit helps us. Um, just even being, uh, you know, there as freshmen, these seniors, it, it was a great experience for them. And, you know, I think that uh, it can do nothing but help these guys the experience. Now the Wildcats turn their attention to Wasion, a program that hasn't competed in a regional title game since the mid-90s. But the Indians are a perfect 12-0 this season and present some challenges for Kenton. Wasion has a great mix on offense, run and pass. I mean, when you can mix it up the way they do with the, if you look at their yardages, they're very similar with pass and run, a little bit more run maybe. A uh, very athletic team, a lot of athletes on the offense and the defense. We need to come out here and practice as hard as we can. Even in this cold weather, you got to get used to it because come Friday night, it's not going to change. We have to stay strong up front. Um, quarterback's pretty good. They got a good running back. They're athletic. We got to try to keep them contained, make the tackles, can't miss tackles. To earn a third trip to state in the last four years, Kenton will have to do what Coach Backler has been preaching since the start of training camp. Finish, get off the field. You know, whether it's offense, we've got to score. We can't go 80 yards and not put it in. We've got to score. Uh, defensively, we need to finish. Get off on third down, get off on fourth down get off the field, uh, get the offense ready. Um, you know, we, we can't commit the turnovers we committed last week. With the Wildcats, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.